in 2003, the second season was ending for Aqua Team Hunger Force. Because of the fact the show was made in Photoshop, it would be obvious that someone would edit it while no one was looking. A man anonymously edited the episode the last one, with a different plot. I found it on a Windows 2000. The user named it The Funeral. It was put in a folder called Half the Lost Episode. It began like all season 2 episodes, with Dr. Weird and Steve Cold opening. It had Dr. Weird messing with the gas line. Steve came into the room and said the court just called, we won. Dr. Weird forgot about the leak and lit a match and caused it to explode. It then cut to the opening. Obviously it went to the episode. It began with Shake watching TV. He was watching a video that looked as if it was from a webcam. He then got bored and went into the kitchen, finding Meekwood and Freelux standing. They looked like they had bad news. As Shake was paying no attention, Freelux began to sob softly. Shake started to notice. Freelux then continued and said, My uncle just got hit by a bus. They showed me a picture of his body. After that Freelux showed him a picture of a very gruesome body. You could tell it was photoshopped onto his hands. They said his funeral was in an hour. Shake just started laughing, very heartless even for Shake. Freelock just started to play a video of him and his uncle playing together. They both looked very happy. Freelock just could not take it and used his heat rays to blow up the PC car. They had to use that cart that was featured in several other episodes before this, as they got their Freelock took a look inside the coffin. After that the episode made several glitches, like Meekwood oddly shaped, like in Mayhem of the Moon Knights, Shake changed suits, and his fingers were cut off, not like, if you were to cut your fingers off. They were carrying the coffin. Freelock was very sad. He could barely keep his head up. In the middle of the funeral, he just gave up and collapsed, he was crushed, you could hear his bones breaking from the weight of the coffin. Shake stood in the coffin and jumped on it. You could hear Freelock's muffled screams. Meekwood was crying and trying to get to a nearby phone. Shake kept trying to do several things to stop him. He put a grenade inside of Meekwood, but he just took it out. After several attempts, he just resumed jumping on the coffin. It cut to a two hours later card, and then a very realistic video of a police investigation, possibly because Meekwood told them that Shake only made it worse. It then cut to Shake and Meekwood visiting Freelock in the emergency room. Freelock was still alive, Meekwood was worried, and Shake was holding a gun. Meekwood saw that Shake was holding a gun to Freelock's head. Soon he became so working up and just told him that Shake was going to kill him. Freelock grabbed the gun out of his hands and shot Shake several times. Meekwood was happy until Freelock was abusing him to the point he was getting several deaths, and after he was already almost dead. He was drinking him dry. Shake's dead body was getting worse to the point his screams were just too horrible to even listen to. Meekwood tried to stop him but Freelock threatened him. He just did not stop trying to stop him. He then shot him, ripped him apart, and worse stuff than that. The episode ended there. Sometime in 2005 the user named Godai in a hole uploaded a video called The Funeral, aka They All Die. It was the episode, because it was a private video not that many people watched it, sometime the YouTube staff watched it, and left a comment in his account telling him that Adult Swim was going to find where he lived and take him to jail for his crime. Later he closed his account and no one has ever found him after that. Until 2009 he never returned in the internet, until he was under the name Dead666 Satan, his IP address was found after that, and his name was found. Name, Jake Sanchez. He was taken to jail for 10 years, now he has 8 years left. Now the episode is in the hands of me and Adult Swim interns.